family where both my parents were uh, magicians. Uh, my dad is Harry Anderson. He was on sitcoms in the 80s and 90s. But when I was little, he and my mom had a magic act and would play at the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach almost every weekend. I got in trouble um, when I was in kindergarten because I went up to the teacher and I repeated a joke I'd heard at the club, which was, uh, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a turkey, a dead turkey with an asshole like this? And I got sent home and the teacher was like, you need to buy her an appropriate joke book. Because I was the only kid around at the time, I got used in, in tricks a lot on stage. And, and uh, there was one trick that my parents did with me a lot on stage. And when I was four, my dad was gonna be on the Merv Griffin show. So he was like, hey, uh, you, you should do that trick with me in the show, it'll be fun. So we flew out to New York, my dad came out for the interview, Mark Griffin was interviewing him. He looked totally normal, but he was wearing giant clown shoes. And he was just proceeding as if it was a totally normal interview. And about halfway through the interview, this clown came out, this six foot six man dressed as a clown, holding like a little bag. My dad stops the interview to talk to this clown. And the clown's not talking, he's just honking a horn and holding this little tiny bag. My dad gives him, takes off the shoes and gives them to the clown. He says, okay, can I have her? So the, cl the clown gives my dad this bag and he opens it up and I'm in the bag and I climb out of it. I could fit into this extremely small carpet bag and just sit there, that was like my trick. So I get out of the bag and I'm like a little four year old. The audience is like, oh, it's a little kid. But then I get to sit and, and I get interviewed. Merv Griffin says, uh, how old are you? And I say, I'm four, how old are you? And the whole audience starts laughing because you're not supposed to ask grown-ups that. It was like that in the Death, when the Death Star blows up the planet and Obi-Wan Kenobi hears all the voices screaming. That's what it sounded like when they laughed at me. And I burst into tears. I just start crying because everyone's laughing at me and I don't know what I did wrong. And the whole thing derails. And they can't stop the show because like, you can't stop the show with a little crying four-year-old. So the whole thing just gets really weird. And where Griffin has to keep asking me questions to like calm down. And then he like does a dance, like a ballet dance. And then I'm like happy by the end. But then the show's over and they're like, uh, we want to apologize to Frank Herbert, the author of Dune. And I like to think how horrible it must have been for Frank Herbert, the author of fucking Dune, sitting in the green room being like, what? Really? This, this is happening? I wait, I'm never gonna be on this show. My dad like, he took me somewhere and got me a Shirley Temple. And I said, um, and his, he says that I told him, that was really fun, let's never do that again. Third count, the blue 